pero group performance. Ayan. So, time off, ito, ito rin yung isa. For example, hindi kayo makabayad ng overtime. Nagtrabaho ng, let's say, nagtrabaho ng Monday, dapat day off. So, papalitan nyo, magta-time off na lang. Parang imbis na pera, may, pwede siyang mag-day off the following uh, the following week. Dalawa. So, isang araw na rest plus day off, dalawa ngayon ang off niya. Yun ang time off. A piece of the action simply means that you make them participate in the other activities as a Dati, kayo lang ang gumagawa. Ngayon, pagka nakasali ka na, parang proud ka. Aba, sinali ko ni Bishop, pa sinali ko ni Father dun sa uh, team, no? So, piece of the action, make them part of the action. Or piece of the action can also be, kung merong benefit na nakuha, no, makikinabang din sila. Yeah. Uh, favorite work, eh, pwede nyo yung asan. Ito, again, walang pera to. Do, ano yung favorite nilang work? Siguro, ang favorite nilang pumunta, kung nari, sa district na to, eh, papuntahin nyo sila doon instead yung dati nilang assignment. Yun lang. Advancement is, ang ano natin sa katekitikal ministry, sabi nyo nga, walang, ang advancement hanggang coordinator lang siguro. Volunteer to, ano, hindi ka pwede kasi kung ang rule ngayon, dapat pare ang, ang ano, director, Walang, hindi pwedeng hanggang doon. So, hanggang maybe coordinator yung advancement. ba diba? Advancement can also be in terms of, uh, I get personal, freedom. Meaning, you give them autonomy no? as a reward to discard on how they want things done as long as that task can be achieved. ba diba? Kamukha dito, sabi ko, you can sing a song. Eh, yung isa, kantang top of the world, pag family na, well, derong, derong. Eh, pero na-achieve niya naman. Hindi ko naman sinabi, anong basing kanta. Di ba? Pwede pa, pwede rock. Kantang simbahan. Tapos, meron bang kanta kanina yung pag-ibig? Wala. Okay. Para lang. And then, personal growth is really in terms of yung mga seminars. Ang isa, natutuwa sila. Fun. Yung kanina, it's fun. No? Yung... May mga times naman na meron kayong mga tao natin yan team building as a reward, di ba? Oo, uh, outing. Additional benefits, ito naman yung outside of the salary. Ito na yung tinatawag na one-time bonus, pwedeng vacation leave, may dagdag, may dagdag sikli, kung can afford kayo. Ganda na, yun yung mga other benefits no? that can be provided. Alimbawa, yung sa Christmas, marami namang nag-love offering sa inyo, mga pare, maraming envelope. Yung isang envelope, bigay nyo naman sa mga katikista. Pwede naman na gano'n. One time. Ganun lang, no? One time. Hindi mo kailangan lagi. ba diba? Kung ano lang yung meron, alam nyo naman. Oo. Uh -oh. So, yan yung mga pwede nyong reward. Making sense? Ito yan. Uh, tapos, ito na yung last part. Actually, wala sa akin, pero may request ako, networking and... Uh, so, we we'll go through it. Ito yung tanong nyo kanina, do you need to do yes? No? You, do you need to do uh, linkages and uh, networking? It is important, especially sa level ng head at saka ng coordinator, that's very important to do. If you're managing, if you are the manager, the supervisor, you can help. But really do linkage and networking. So, what is this all about? So, linkages is basically here, relationships and interaction between, no? Organization, information, yan yung ano, important ito. Uh -oh, relationships and interaction. So, yan ang mga linkages related to your past functions, departments, catechetical ministry. Siyempre, kung yun ang function mo, di ba? So, napakahalaga yung end ideas and objectives. Pida, for example, now, itong training nyo, this is an opportunity to link and network. Ito yung pagkatataon eh. Yung napunta kayo sa team, nung narinig nyo si Father, walang kwentang kumanta, hindi na ako makikiling kay Father. Nalalo ko na. Di ba kanina? Kasi when you're talking, I think you have been here since May, from May to Oh, hanggang bukas kayo, dalawang linggo. Saturday, uh, ah, Friday pa lang parang bukas. So what I'm saying, it's an opportunity to get to know and Link, no? I hope you have a directory, whether online or uh, yung papel. Pero napaka-importante kasi you share from each other. No? Uh -oh, Facebook. Ang networking naman is really creating group of acquaintances and associates. No? 
and then keeping it active for regular communication for mutual benefit. Pero minsan, network and linkages, you go together. Hindi mo na talaga uh, split your head, ano ba talaga ito, tsaka ito. But basically, what you're talking about is really creating uh, acquaintances, uh, keeping people in your uh, iPhone or in your Facebook, napaka-importante nun, no? And then, uh, based on the question, pagka nag-network ka, paano ako makakatulong sa'yo? Yun, hindi yung anong makukuha ko sa'yo. Yan kasi, sa business kasi ganun. Ang business, ang bottom line, ito ang ano niya, ang ultimate ano, what I can get from you. Dapat, ang pasok natin sa, sa simbahan, paano, how can I help you? Paano ako makakatulong sa'yo? Oo. Eh kasi siyempre, parang meron na tayong brand simbahan. Pag lumapit ka, sigurado humihingi tayo na. Kasi alam na nila, naku, ando si padre, sigurado yan. Meron na. Parang alam na nila pagka kasi yung ano, by nature, pag lagi mong ginagawa. Ano? Ano, misal, ang pasok nga siya, Father, ano meron? May pesa po ba? Dadating. Misal, nago, nagbo-volunteer na ka agad, no? kung kaibigan mo naman yun. Okay. And then members actively demonstrate how they can work together to attain. So, basa dito ang importante siya sa sabi niya. Tapat ang focus mo how can I get? Wag yung what I can get. Okay. Do you? Yes. Oh, ano kaya yung benefits ng networking na pa simple? Pagka may network ka, saka linkage, yung strategic. Ito ang napaka importante. Tida niyo ulit ito. Strategic. Long term ulit ang tingin natin. Hindi tayo nag-uusap ngayon here and now. Nagkita tayo, tapos na pagka hindi. Tinitingnan niyo si sister, si father ngayon, na magkikita kayo habang buhay ng salamat. Wow! Di ba? Ang dansa niya. So, strategic should be partnership and collaboration. So, pero long term. Tapos kasi, si sister, si father, ba? pwede kayong bigyan ng referrals, di ba? Ang kilala kayo, refer kita, di ba? Kasi dyan, nakapunta kami. So, yun din ang value ng networking. They can give you referrals. They can also give you support, di ba? Kung may kailangan ka. Kasi itong support naman, hindi naman kailangan financial lang. There are many ways by which you can support each other. Information. Misan meron kang alam na information hindi alam ng iba, di ba? So, providing information. New leads, ito yung mga... Uy! Kasi yung information acquisition eh. Yung mga leads, yung mga bagong... Ah, ito, mga new leads. Ah, ito, pwede kang bago yan, punta ka niya. Ah, ito, you can go here, no? Mga bago, yung information pwedeng luma eh. Pero hindi mo alam. But the new leads are really yung new things that you don't know yet pwede pala yun, no? And then contacts. Iba to ah, iba yung ito, nirefer mo. Ang contact talagang nakuha mo lang, hindi nirefer, no? Oo. And then the other one, through, you can also increase your skills and knowledge. Kasi kung pwede mag-provide ng training, kamukha ngayon, uy, kilala na namin si Dr. Edwin, i-email namin siya para baka pwede mo mag-ano, hibingay ng training, charge sa, asan yung patikipital ng lasal, ayan, charge sa kanila, outreach na. Tawag namin community engagement. Wow. Hindi na namin, hindi na namin tinatawag na outreach community engagement. Wow. Uh, and then lastly, syempre, pag kami network ka, o oh, diba, it increases your reputation, diba? Rubbing elbow with the, no, diba? Reputation. But, but that's important, you need to increase your reputation kasi ang effect nun, uh, in reality, maraming pwedeng mag-donate, di ba? Maraming benefactor. Kasi maganda reputation mo. No? Really, tomorrow, I think you'll talk about fundraising. Kasi kailangan sa fundraising, may network ka. At may reputation ka. And you deliver, di ba? Kasi kung wala kang good, good reputation, huwag <laughs> nag-uusapan natin. No? Because reputation is earned. You have to earn it. And you have to show it in terms of Uh, the good performance of the ministry. Right? Okay, so these are the... Okay. Ano ang guys, yan, siguro mga tip, no? Interested kayo dito. What are the tips? Ayun lang, no? They always say thank you. 
di ba? Minsan nakalimutan na natin yung magpasalamat, say thank you. Minsan kung ano nga sa Facebook, hindi online na, media, magpasalamat naman kayo online kung ka-Facebook nyo, di ba? Kung meron kayong papel, yung thank you card. There are many ways by which you can say thank you. Okay. And then connect uh, with people on a, ito, yun na, human level. Kasi ang difficulty eh, siyempre, pag sa, sa pari na, hindi maas, matanggal yung ano eh, na pari kayo o madre kayo, di ba? May belo o mayroong ano dito. Pero kasi I think, is, ano yan, is tight, uh, you be showing that you're also a tao din kayo, di ba? The human side of you, na si father, kuma, ano pala, tumatawa din, si father, na, uh, ano rin, si father, umuutot din pala, o binibigay din si father. Diba? That's what I'm talking about when you... You have to show your human side. Hindi pwede yung lagi yung clergy side nyo. Kasi yun ang sinasabi ko. You need to have a technique by which you... Hindi pwede lagi yung ano, yung clergy. Hindi pwede yun. O yung pagiging pare at madre. Pakita nyo yung pagiging tao. Kung si Kristo nga, nagkatawan tao, kayo pa. <laughs> oh. 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 Tapos, don't burn. Oh, ito, importante din. Don't burn bridges. Ay, sorry, sorry. Pag-type, don't burn. Please, don't burn the price. Don't burn bridges. Nawala yung G, pakiliconnect. Correct nyo na lang. Bridges, keep your ego in check. Burn the price. Burn the price. At talagang i-burn ng mga pari ang price. Okay. So, don't burn the bridges. <laughs> Kahit anong galit nyo. Kasi you're not sure kung babalik kayo doon. Eh, di ba? Babalik kayo. Misang kahit anong inis nyo. Di ba? And then, invest in other people and be direct. When we talk of investment, ano ba yun? No? Kasi misan, ewan ko, na-appreciate ko din yung... Kasi misan dito sa Manila, nahanap namin si Father. Ano ko sila di? Nasa si Father, ganyan. Siyempre, hindi naman namin alam ko anong ginagawa ni Father. Pero kung ang si Father ay nag-i-invest sa mga... Ta Meaning, you find time, no? Kasi yung natang kakaibahan niyo sa, sa probinsya, yung talagang grass ko, nakakarating pa kayo. Pero sa Manila kasi, medyo may luxury ang amin. Hindi na ganun, kahit nandito, may paring taga Manila dito. Pero alam natin na kakaiba na ang Manila, no? Hindi na ganun ang... Yes, and it's a challenge among... You can say, I am wrong, but this is my experience, seeing the challenges of a parish priest. No? Talagang ang dami niya, ibang dapat gawin pa, na yung bumaba ka sa BEC, konting-konti na lang yung oras para doon, no? Pero yun ang isi... Eh, pero nandun ang pagkatekaise, eh, di ba? And the parish priest is also responsible for catechizing, di ba? Hindi yun naman catechetical ministry ang ano niya. I think lahat naman tayo, ang alam ko lahat tayo. Pero kung sa function, structurally, ang problema lang yung how you invest in other people. Kaya si Father, pag nag-spend ng time na medyo matagal dun sa isa, kasi minsan sa Manila parang functional eh. 30 minutes, alis na si Father kasi may pupuntang pang iba. Nakakamiss yung sa probinsya, pwede kang makipag-inuman ng kaunti, makipag yung muntahan ng kaunti, na mas mahaba ng kaunti. Sa so Manila, talagang parang dahil lang sa traffic, hindi ka na kailangan magmamadali ka kasi may misa ka pa, matatraffic ka, yung mga ganon, meron kaming mga challenges na ay, ay commiserate with the parish priest, no? yung, yung ganon na challenges. And yet, we are not able to appreciate. <laughs> Kasi hindi ako sabagod lang. Kakatukan. Hindi, may meeting. Uh, may meeting. Okay. Kaya lang kasi no. investing in people is very important. Yun lang. I don't know, maybe, as parish priest, please let us know how we can be of help. No? Yung ganun. Minsan kasi, sinasarili nyo naman yung cruz. Pwede naman yung cruz. Kasama din yung iba. Di ba? Um, direct. Organize your collections geographically. Ayan, tuturuan ko kaya. Dapat matuto kayo. May database naman eh, di ba? Eh, may ways naman. Meron mang Google Map ngayon. I mean, kung magahati kayo ng trabaho, hindi ba, ang bawa lahat, north, para mga pulis, 
lahat north ka lang, ikaw south ka lang, west ka lang, east. Kasi napakahirap naman north to south, hindi na travel mo when you have connection or network. Geographically, you should be able to plan that out and assign it to all other people who will do networking. Dapat geographically magaling kayo. Kasi sa probinsya, malalayo din yung pupuntahan, di ba? Okay. The other one is ask questions to continue the dialogue. Importante. Have an open mind and learn about people. Basic naman yun. Ayan, don't get possessive. Misa, ay, sorry. Don't get possessive. Ito naman, masyado ayaw nyo nang i-reveal. Gusto nyo kayo na lang. Kasi baka sila rin manghingi doon. Di ba? And then, kaya ayaw nyo i-reveal. And then, ito yung avoid pattern recognition and follow. Ano yung platinum rule? Ang sabi lang doon, kasi may golden rule, di ba? Do not do unto others. Uh, uh, ang platinum rule, sinasabi niya lang, you can google it. Ang sinasabi niya, dapat i-double mo pa yung effort. Hindi yung do unto others. Kung hindi, i-double mo pa ang tulong at investment na magagawa mo sa kanya to show sincere effort. Kasi parang hindi mo hinihintay yung i-return niya, no? Kasi parang, di ba, it will be rewarded some other time. Kasi gusto natin immediate, eh. You have to remember, networking and linking is an investment, so hindi yan immediate ang return. That's why we call it, may mga investment. Yung talagang, mamisan wala ka agad, di ba? Para kang nag-farming. You have to plant the seeds, no? Before it grows, di ba? Some of the seeds will grow in hard rock. Some will be in unfertile grounds. Sounds familiar. Saan ko ba nabasa yun? Ano yung libro ko naman? And then, treat everyone with respect. Yun ang napaka-importante. Eh, you know, very basic kahit sa network and linkages. Yun ang... Kasi simple lang may... Kasi ang problema, sa, I talk about in the business language, no? Kasi sa <clears throat> mga companies, ang tawag namin dyan is sa marketing ng function to, no? Because... If you want to get more supporters, you want to get more clients, you have to network. Yun ang term saan. So when you network, meaning you need to invest in people. You need to use advertisements. Kaka, kaya ko nga, tinatagda. Hindi pwedeng yung the usual na hindi kayo nakikita. Kaya ngayon, di ba, may mga, alimbawa, very simple lang na advertisement. Tarpulin, you use your Facebook. Kasi you have to use the social media as a form also of people getting to know you. Because you cannot have your network, this is my addition to this one, unless people know you. Meron ba kayong Facebook ang inyong katiketikal ministry? May Facebook ba ang diocese? May face... Kasi this is how people are now connecting no? socially. Because you can have parishioners who have gone abroad. But if you have a Facebook and if you have an account where they can simply direct their account to your link, put it in your website. Hindi naman mananakaw yung account na yun, donate to this. Pero you need to use your social media na or the technology to be able to network online. Kasi hindi naman pwedeng physical lang lagi. Kasi meron ng online eh. Okay? So what are the other means of uh, promoting your your ministry or your parish other than that. So, Facebook, uh, Twitter, hindi very common, eh, no? Pero at least the Facebook, you can have that. Kaya nga, you have a web, uh, web page na very interesting. Tapos, yung mga simple, tarpulin ngayon, nauuso na, di ba? Yung mga nandun, kung may printed material ka. And now, with the simple, I don't know, in the province, kung mga Dati, nagli-leafletiri, ang tawag namin doon, yung mga leaflet na maliliit ka. Oo, oh, kasi yung bang house to house, ito yung traditional natin eh. We go house to house, di ba? Pero kung, eh, if we are very few, how will you do house to house? And if the geographical distance is that far, ilan ba nga mararating nyo sa isang araw? I mean, if you do networking, kilalanin yung mga tao, di ba? So that's very important. So part of the networking. The other one is really in terms of, I don't know if you have a catechetical, meron naman tayo sa simbahan yung structure na lahat. Kasi you need to work as a whole. Ano yung ibig sabihin? Yun ang sinasabi ko. I think the entire...
Philippine Catechetical Ministry. Kasi meron ba? Pero it's about time that you are able to have a network na buo kayo so that you can share. Hindi pwede yung meron lang volunteer, meron lang congress, doon lang kayo makikita. Part of the networking is really ensuring that this starting point will be a continuing connections among you. You need to set it up. Uh -huh. Yun ang mangyayari. Hindi, yung somebody also with technology, kasi siyempre papaalam pa sa mga bishop, di ba? Merong mga ganun. But I think it's about time that you need to set up that structure wherein you will have a continuing communication as part of your network. And there will be a practice of sharing. I mean, documents. That's why I was talking about the use of that Google Drive in so that you can share. You don't need to go physically, you don't need to Xerox, but you simply copy it from that file and you do the sharing. I think some of your people in the parish would know that so that there is a continuing um, connection, no? hindi mawawala yun, and you learn from each other to say, you know, kasi mangyayari, I think, pagbalik nyo, kanya-kanya na naman ulit. Diba? Unless someone will take the initiative of what? Yung reaching out, no? Yung lang ang difference that I can see. Yung cha I don't know if tomorrow um, attorney will elaborate on this, but basically what I want to do is about time that we learn to network the business way. No? Meaning, establish the connection, you know it, regular, na meron kayo. Yung for example, dito sa Manila kasi, di ba, yung nagbimisa ka sa mga mall. Dito meron mga ganun, hindi tayong pagay. But it's a network that we have with people that we know who are. That's part of the network no? that they will do. Kasi wala naman talaga kayong kukunan o tayong kukunan ng malalaking donasyon. But really coming from the business people. I mean, it is not, it is not unethical to receive it. Ano naman eh, actually yung ginagawa naman nila doon. Alam niyo ba? Di, hindi. Ginagawa naman nila yung tax. Ano yun? If I, ibibigyan kayo, hihingi ng receive. Pero may pa-file naman nila na tax. Ano yun eh? Ang tax exemption. Iba na yung personal. Pag binigyan kayo ng personal check, pero pagka naka, makikita niyo yung check na corporate, so it means they benefit from that and you are the beneficiary. Parang kami, na, di ba? I think you have seen that. Meron kami Henry C, di ba? Yes. Oh, so donation, no, bawat sa tax niya yun. Bawat building, mga lahat ng donation dito, comes on na iaano nila ng tax. Free. Uh -oh. Deduction. Uh -oh. Tax exemption, tax deduction. Yun lang yung ano niya. That is something that is interesting. Kaya dapat mag-build. Kung wag kayong maano na dahil pare o madre, hindi. Or if you cannot do that, mag-assign kayo. Kasi I think structurally ngayon may finance committee, di ba? Or someone in charge of fundraising. But I think the priest or other nuns, <coughs> dapat mag-ano rin kayo how to go about doing that, no? I, I have seen many, the schools well-managed and it is sustainable, so it means you're able to do a good network. Kaya lang sa katekesis, walang alumni. Ang school may alumni. Di ba? I don't know, but this is my idea. Pwede ba? Eh kasi lahat naman, ikakatekais mo, parang meron kang alumni ng mga katekista, ng mga... kasi yung iba naman niya, bumubuti ang buhay. Di ba? Hindi naman lahat uh, katekista ko rin. Pero you need to set a network yung mga ganun yung mga alumni, yung mga different groups that you can think about that will help you. Kasi ang network, as I've said, aside from knowledge na makukuha kayo training, eh kasi minsan nag invest kayo, I notice you pay honorarius, eh minsan maliit lang yun, di ba? Instead of that, being free and, be, and being paid by someone else, hindi nakukunin sa pondo ng ministry o hindi nakukunin sa pondo ng simbahan. Kasi you need to end that is the way it should be done through the network. Okay? So any question on this, yung network? I hope tomorrow baka pwede niyong itanong din kay attorney kung meron. Kasi fundraising naman siya tomorrow and finance ata. Yan ang topic niya. So making sense tayo doon? Yes! Okay, kung tapos na ako. Yes! Okay, so I'm done. Okay, thank you, Kai. So you closing that please. Thank you.
So we will have this the video clip as also our. Actually, for me, this is the legacy. It's a closing prayer, but it's a video coming from Stephen Covey. I want it to be used as a prayer to as we close our session. So when you're ready, it's an interesting video again about legacy that we can give as people managing people in our respective uh, work. So let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So let's listen to the video as part of our prayer. St. John Baptist de La Salle, in the name of Jesus in our hearts, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. 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 Amen.